with the belt facing me moving down so I can sharpen with two hands instead of the way that the manufacturer intended us to do it. Uh, so because of that, I got this little setup here with a cookie sheet. Um, I'm doing a piece of shelf liner on the table and a cookie sheet on top of that to keep it in, in place. And then another little piece of shelf liner on top of the cookie sheet and the work sharp on top of that. Now the idea is, you know, so the whole thing won't move and so the dust that comes off of this while I'm sharpening gets captured in the cookie sheet and not all over the table and the floor and everything else. It makes a little bit of a mess. It's not terrible. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is the P120 belt. It's really ANSI 100. Uh, we're going to start with this on the knife I'm going to sharpen today. Let me grab that knife and show it to you real quick. I'm adjusting this uh, in the center of the top roller and in the center of the bottom roller. There is this uh, tracking adjustment over here, but um, it doesn't have a very good range. And it's, it's, it's right where it should be anyway. I've used this before. All right, so the knife. This is a really, really dull Hinkle knife. Um, how dull? Uh, this dull. It will not cut me at all. I'm not pushing super, super hard, but you can see it's leaving kind of white lines where I'm pressing. Uh, if there was any sharpness to this whatsoever, it would cut the heck out of me. Um, you probably can't see, but there are a lot of chips in this edge. Uh, the point is fairly pointy, though it's not super, super pointy. We'll fix that. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna get right to this here with the P120. This machine has 14 speed settings from lowest to highest. Um, I'm gonna run it right in the middle. Let me start at zero, to the lowest here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, six clicks up here. Um, it should give us a decent speed. I'm gonna start by putting Sharpie on the edge. Let's see which one I'm gonna start with. Doesn't really matter, the edge width is about the same on both sides. So I'm going to start with this side. Not sure if you can see or not, that now has Sharpie along the entire edge. I'm doing this so that I can make sure I'm at approximately the same angle when I'm sharpening on this as it came from the factory. I'm just going to find my angle here with a little touch. Just about dead on. Take one pass. As you can see, pretty much all the sharpies been removed from the edge. A little bit on the shoulder. I'm feeling for a bird, and I've actually started to fall over here in the center. So we're going to work this a little bit more. You notice that as I move through the curved portion of the knife, I'm raising the handle up so that the edge stays in contact with the belt. If I didn't do this, it would ride up onto the shoulder instead, and I'm not going really to hit the point properly. Put the bird in here. It's starting. portion of the edge now. Now I can heal, so it's going to let it heal. All through here I feel burn. And here, I do not. I spend extra time. You can't see it with the camera. But when I'm hitting the tip, I'm making sure that the actual tip of the tip is touching the belt. Um, if you don't do this, you'll never get to the point, and you'll end up with a rounded point. 
If you go too far, you'll end up with a tip that's nice and blunt, uh, which is usually not what you want. So let's check for a burr again. Oh yeah, pretty much full length except for the first quarter to half inch of the heel and the last quarter to, yeah, more like a half inch of the tip. So I'm gonna work on those two areas real quick. 